morning, I'm to isolate 49, uh, stretch and recovery session, so we'll take it a bit easier today after obviously uh, a pretty rough workout yesterday. Uh, so we'll begin with uh, just some mobility, uh, so frog squats and vehicles, just nice and slow. He's going crazy. And just some side vehicles. And back to some frog squats. Now at the bottom, just slide the side. And just moving again. Hold at the top. And some vehicles. Okay, and then we'll just get out the cards. So pushing our heel, flat onto the ground, and tucking our right foot over the top. Change sides. And we're just moving to a high plank. I'm just going to alternate between the high plank and push them back into the downward dog. Push them through the hands and shoulders, keeping the hips nice and high. Spreading forward into the plank. Hold on for a couple of seconds, push it back to down the dog. Last one. And uh, just dropping your knee down, foot over the top, and slowly pushing the knee into the ground. And changing sides. And both feet back, back into plank, and down the door, and then just raising your left foot up nice and high and holding that position. Change legs. So one legged dog, still pushing through your hands and shoulders, and change. Change and one more each side. And 
tak. And then you slide to come down to the floor on that. Some Russian twists. And starting off, working through that range of movement, side to side, feet nice and flat. And just taking your feet off the floor. Still getting that twist at the, at the core. And legs out straight. Back in and flat on the ground. And then just taking our left knee uh, up into the side, we're pushing our foot into the side into our thigh and leaning forward out to hamstring stretch. It's pretty exciting to see New Zealand moving into level two on Thursday, which is some really good news. Obviously the resumption of some sport and being able to go to the gym, which is great. Looks like here today from our predictions, um, if we keep on line of 10, 11,000 new cases a day, uh, then we'll actually be the country with the third most cases in the world, behind Spain and the US. So a little bit concerning, but oh well. Just loosening it off on the side. I did however find out that I can go for a run in the morning between five o'clock and seven o'clock. So that's something at least it gets dark about four. So um, it's something different other than uh, just working out here every day. So I certainly look to give that a crack. getting a lot warmer here too, it's like 20 degrees at 25 the other day. I knew she had mosquitoes in my room last night, so that wasn't much fun. Okay, let's lie on my back, do some deep bugs. So, opposite hand to leg. Nice and slow with control. Just roll it onto our side for quads. Have the rest of your arms for like knees together and just pull an ankle directly back to your, your butt. Loosen that off, turn your sides. And loosen it off, come to the standing position. And just gonna move into a lunge. 
dropping that knee down and then just holding that position there. Now in the prayer position, which can take a right elbow across that left knee and then just turn through the core, taking that chest away from the knee. Just come back to centre, dropping our right knee on the ground, our left hand inside our left foot, and then just opening up the other side. And just come back to centre, standing up, swapping legs. Just raising that back leg up, nice strong position, chest away from the knee. Then you come back to centre, dropping that knee down, right hand inside right foot, and then just opening up through the core. And just relaxing there. And come to a seated position. Uh, right foot over left knee. And then we just arm that to the side and swaying, pulling our legs down to the left. Trying to keep our shoulders, especially our right shoulder, on the floor. And just slowly coming back to centre, uh, changing the cross of the legs, and moving the other way. And coming back to centre, sitting up slowly. And we're going to do so a hollow hold, and you can make that a hollow rock if you, if you want to. So just extending our arms over our head, shoulders and head off the ground, and pointing our feet. Just holding our core in that position. And then again, we're going to start a wee rock. Try and stay connected the whole time, keeping your body in that dish shape. Back to hold. Five more seconds. And then come out to seated position. Uh, moving to the groin. So feet together. Trying to sit up nice and tall. And just pushing our knees out with our elbows. Just focusing on your breathing. And then just come down to all fours, tabletop position, and we're just going to extend opposite legs and arms. And so trying to keep nice and strong through the core the whole time. Hold on for a second, then bring it slightly back to centre. And swap it.
right side. And then just slowly lowering the girl for some supermans. Arms in front and engaging her glutes and just holding for a second. And now just leaving your feet on the ground, take your hands behind you, and then just slowly lifting up to locust position. And down. So again, we're just holding it for a couple of seconds at the top, then releasing coming to the floor and back up again. Down and just moving our hands up. Our so we'll get a bit of movement going again and just pushing up to high plank position, back to down dog, high plank, low plank, high. And just moving through that sequence nice and slowly under control. And then slowly lower into the ground, elbows out in front, feet flat, and just pushing up into sphinx position. So a couple of my mates decided to do the thousand burpee challenge uh, yesterday. Um, rest assured we won't be doing it as one of my workouts. Um, so it took them one of them just under two hours to do a thousand burpees, and uh, the other one just over two hours. So funny enough, they're a little bit sore today. Yeah, not something that sounds like a lot of fun, thousand burpees. And then just easing that off, coming to the seated position. But well done to both of them, I guess. And then just pull your arm across the body. Sitting nice and tall, focusing on your breathing. Easing that off, changing sides. And then just staying in this position, taking our left arm, cross our right knee, and again, staying nice and tall through the our spine and chest, and just rotating, looking across our right shoulder. Just easing that off, moving to the other side. Come back to centre, 
pushing your right elbow down our back. Again, we're sitting nice and tall. Easing that off, changing sides. And then, like always, to finish, corpse pose. So, again, really good week. Uh, well done. And that's uh, week seven done, uh, number 49. So, I guess tomorrow is number 50. So just lying back down in comfortable position, focusing on your breathing and just relaxing for as long as you want to.